Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have seen how we can connect to the Docker engine through the external sources like SSH or Putty. We have seen it. Why? Because the NAT gateway doesn't provide us to connect from the external resources. So that is the reason. So we have used the port forwarding in order to connect through the external resources like SSH. So now it's time for us to install the Docker engine in our Ubuntu server. So I am turning on the server. So let's switch on the server here. So it is booting. So after switching on the server, so what we'll try to do is we will connect through the SSH portal. Then afterwards, we will install the Docker engine in our Ubuntu server. So here I will be logging with the test user and the test one, two, three, four, right? So now it is working fine. So let's connect through the command prompt. So I will be not using the com commands here. So we will connect through the command prompts. So for this one, what we will try to do is I will be using the command prompt here. I will open with then run as administrator. So you can use any command prompt. I am using visual 2017, something like that. Uh, so let's CLS clear it out. Yeah. So I will uh, zoom over so that you can able to see the commands. What I am trying to type. And here I will try to keep this one aside and we will see another one is nothing but in this one. So we will see how we can install the Ubuntu, sorry, Docker engine, install Docker engine on Ubuntu. So here you'll be able to see the first one. And here if I try to make it, um, I will try to minify this one. So how can I minify this one? So may not minify. So resize this one so that we can read one by one. Now I am resizing this. Yeah, fine, right? So hopefully this one is looking nice. I will try to me minimize some more, and I will try to. Yeah. Oh no. Fine. So this is how this is what I will be keeping, and now I will connect to our portal so there is nothing but ssh hyphen p 2222 and test user at rate local host that's it so now i hopefully i will be able to connect let's connect it will ask you it will take some time so let it take yeah it is asking the password test 1234 so i have now we are able to connect it so now all the linux commands and all those things will work like control l clear and all those things. So what we have learned in our Ubuntu, uh, sorry, Linux Ubuntu commands, those all commands will work right now. So this is our thing. So now if you try to check ls l, so right now we don't have anything. And if you try to go to the cd dot dot, and you will be able to see only one user that is test user. So this all the we have learned it. So we have, I have moved it to the home page. Now let's see here. So install the Docker engine on Ubuntu. Let's go here. So these are the prerequisites. So that means before installing the to get started with the Docker engine on Ubuntu. So you need to make sure that you meet these all the requirements and all those things then and then only we need to follow the installation steps. So at the bottom, what is the OS requirements is you need to have at least any one of the version of the Ubuntu OS. So right now we are having Ubuntu Noble. So if you want to check that means LSB underscore release hyphen A. Now you'll be able to see the code name is Noble and the Ubuntu and 24.04 LTS. We are having the operating system and here, so the latest version only we are having the latest LTS version. <coughs> and the next one is what we need to do is so before installing the Docker engines, first you need to make sure that you don't have any uh, older version of the Docker installed in your operating system. So that means, uh, so we need to uninstall any conflicting packages. So now here, what are the un unofficial packages to uninstall are docker.io, docker compose, compose v2, docker doc, podman docker. These all the things. So now these all the things need to be removed. So what it is trying to do is here it is giving one command that it is looping over for loop over all the each packages it is looping over and it is trying to remove each one sudo apt fn get remove package. So we are sure that that uh, the docker is not installed. So this is our fresh installation and we are sure that it is not, the docker is not installed in our system. So we will not continue with the step or otherwise if you want means you can copy this one and you can paste it here. Wait, did I copy this one? Oh, sorry, not the entire thing I need to copy. 
so i copied this one and i am pasting it here see for package it is looping over each one and it is doing the sudo apt give remove the package done so now let's try to press enter and now it will it will ask you so if you are trying to use the sudo so right now test user is a sudo user only so the, for the first time it will ask you the password and it will be valid for the 15 minutes and after 15 minutes it will again ask you for the password so now when i press enter so it is it is checking all the things and it is telling that so you will be able to see everything everything is not installed so here you'll be able to see docker io is not installed so not removed and docker doc is not installed so it is trying to see all the things to uninstall but we have but we are sure that the docker is not installed this is a fresh installation we are doing so that is the reason so we we haven't found any package now it is also telling that so then all the volumes and the networks and the containers which you have created the images and all those things which we will be trying to do in the later courses later videos so those are the things will be stored in the var slash lib slash docker it seems so that folder will not be automatically removed so you need to remove it uh, manually it is saying so that means let's check that whether it is available or not so i can do ls hyphen l slash var slash lib slash docker so this is the folder it is telling that it will be existing so if i try to check so no such file or directory it is saying so that means that directory is not available in our os so now so we are sure that the older version of the docker is not available in our system now it's time for us to install the docker engine so the installation methods so here you'll be able to see there are different ways how we can install the docker engine in our ubuntu server the first method is docker desktop for the linux so this is a straightforward and enterprise edition uh, now previously in the earlier we used uh, the docker desktop is available only for the windows and the mac so right now the docker desktop is available for the linux operating system also so you it will it will uh, docker engine comes bundled with the docker desktop for linux so this is the easiest and the quickest way to get started so you if you want you can install this docker desktop but we need to do it manually and we need to install by each and everything by ourselves so that is the reason i will install the docker engine and the second one is using the setup and install the docker engine using the apt repository so apt repository means that is nothing but packages so using the docker package repository so installing so we will do the second step and if you want to do install it manually and if you want to manage upgrades manually means then you need to uh, so you need to follow this step or otherwise if you follow the convenience scripts means only recommended for testing and the development environment means so this one you can use it so right now i am i am installing the docker engine through the docker apt repository so let's try to see it here so this is the first step it is coming so install using the apt repository if you click here also so you will go you will go to this to this place only so now if you click if you see here before you install docker engine for the first time on a new host machine you need to set up the docker repository afterwards only you can install and update the repo, uh, docker from the repository so that means it is telling that we need to set up the repository so that means we need to add the repository docker to the ubuntu server so first before proceeding this one first we need to run the command sudo apt hyphen get update or otherwise sudo apt update also you can run it so whichever it may be so i am doing sudo apt hyphen get update so it will read the all the package repositories in the ubuntu and it will try to install everything so let it uh, install it debian package it will try to install it will try to read all the debian packages and it will install it so finished so before installing the docker so it is telling that uh, we need to install the ca certificates and the curl so uh, by default when you are installing the ubuntu server so these two uh, packages will be automatically available in your system but for the safety side it is telling that you need to install so for us in our system almost all the systems the curl package and the ca certificates package will be available automatically so uh, if you want to make sure means you can uh, run that command so here you'll be able to see ca certificates is already the newest version available and curl is already the newest version available so that means the two packages are already available in my system so there is no need to install but in order to install the docker engine so you need to make sure that these two packages are installed in your system so that is the reason so this is the command that has been given before installing the docker then afterwards the second one is so here we need to create a new folder for the key rings for the creating the, the public repository gpg public repository so we need to create a folder key rings see atc slash apt slash etc slash apt slash key rings so let's copy this one and paste it so now if you try to oh, sorry and 
here i will copy and here i will paste it yeah so now if you try to see ls hyphen l slash etc slash apt slash keyrings so now you will be able to see so that package so not not that package so now the folder has been created with the keyring keyrings and so that is there is no there is no file that, is, that there is no file that is created now the second command which you will be able to see is the so now we need to download the docker gpg package and we need to paste that keyring in the docker.asc file so that is the that is one thing so let's copy this one and here it will copy so what it is trying to do it is trying to get the repository uh, keyring uh, gpg package from the download.docker.com gpg and it is pasting in the keyrings docker.asc file so press enter automatically this will be placed so now if you try to see here the ls package so now you will be able to see a docker.asc file is available in the rwrf so these permissions and all those things also we have learned in our previous uh, linux course so now if i try to open the docker.asc file sorry so cat slash etc slash apt apt only right apt slash keyrings slash docker.asc file if you try to open so this is the pgp pgp public key block so i don't want to uh, go too much into this one so now let's try to go to the next one so here what it is trying to do so it is trying to give the all read permissions so for the both the owner group and also to the others it is trying to give the all plus a means all plus r means it is giving read permission to the docker.ac so already the read permission is available if you try to see already the read permission is available for all this to make sure that if it is not available so it is trying to give the read permission to this one so let's try to pray use it so now nothing will happen so already we have a read permission but it is safe for us to run so otherwise it will uh, permission denied will you will get so now that one is finished now we need to add the repository to the apt sources so now we need to add it to the debian packages that uh, repository that uh, docker repository so that is nothing but signed by this docker.ac and here you will be able to see download.docker.linux-ubuntu and we we will be placing it in the you will be able to see sources.list.d in the etc/apt in the sources.list.d folder docker.list file will be created now if you you need to copy this one and directly copy and you can paste it here so directly in the sources.list.d folder so you will be able to see a docker.list file so now automatically it will be created fine so now after adding this one so what you need to do is you need to run the apt hyphen get update so sudo apt hyphen get update directly you can run it why because we have added this do do docker into our debian package right so that is the reason so we have read it so that's it so now so we have added this repositories to this one docker setup docker apt repository package repository has been set up so now what we need to do is we need to install the docker packages so what we will be installing the docker packages so first we are in installing the docker hyphen ce that is nothing but community edition so docker community edition we are installing and the docker ce cli and the client side uh, uh, docker client we are installing so that using this docker client only we can communicate to the docker servers or the docker engine so just like how you will be having mysql server and the mysql client in the same scenario we will be having the docker engine and we will be communicating to the docker engine using the docker client and we are having the container d so this is the container d which is used by the docker engine to create the containers and last one you will be having docker buildx hyphen plugin and the docker compose hyphen plugin so these are the plugins which is available which is which is need to be installed so let's try to copy this entire thing oh sorry so let's try to let's try to copy this entire thing and i am pasting here so now so we are installing the docker so now let's try to press enter so if i try to press enter so it will ask you that do you want to install all these things so okay fine so like you can press enter or otherwise you can type capital y and press enter automatically it will try to download from the docker and everything so it will take some time to install so let it install so if you want to install a specific version of the docker means you can go to this next tab and here you will be able to see a available versions of the docker available and you can install whichever the thing you want so here if you want to list all the available versions means so this is the command you need to take and you will be able to get all the versions available in the docker and you can take that particular uh, version and you can install it so here at the bottom 
select the desired version and install it. But right now I am going for the latest version only. So I don't want to bother this one. So right now the latest version is 26.1.0. So I will try to show you. So that is the latest version Docker engine we are having right now. So if you want a older version, if you want to install me, so that is nothing but uh, that uh, you can install it. So fine. So everything is installed. So let's try to, uh, if you want to check that whether the Docker has been successfully installed or not means then what you need to do is, so just you can use Docker Docker hyphen version. So you can check for the version. So right now I already told you, right? 26.1.2 is the latest version. So right now install. So this is how you will be installing the Docker. So that is what about the, this is what about the installation of Docker engine in our Ubuntu server. So we have used the Debian auto uh, package manager repository to install the Ub uh, Docker engine in the Ubuntu server. Hope you understood about this concept, installing this in the Ubuntu server, the Docker engine. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.